Alright, so in this video, I'm going to talk about um, playing some basic ostinatos. Uh, if you don't remember from the last video, ostinato is a continuous pattern that we play while reading uh, patterns with our other limbs. So, um, I want you to refer to the sheet that I have on my website called Basic Ostinatos. Um, first, I'm going to describe each ostinato for you. The first one is uh, directly from the last video um, on this topic. It's called Walking Feet. Alright, the next two patterns is the exact same thing, but we're going to add um, either the right hand playing chord notes or the left hand playing chord notes. Okay? The next four patterns involve the three out of the four limbs that we have playing chord notes. Alright? Uh, so, pattern number four here has our left hand, our right foot, and our left foot playing chord notes, and we will read. Um, uh, some chord note patterns with the right hand. Okay, number five has all our limbs playing chord notes except for our left hand. Number six has all of our limbs playing chord notes except for our right foot. And the last one here has all of our limbs playing chord notes except for the left foot. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with uh, number two and um, I'm going to play uh, bar one from the chord note reading sheet, which is which is also on my website. All right. So the ostinato just itself for number two is sounds like this. So it's walking feet with right hand playing right simple. All right. Now I'm gonna add bar one from chord note reading. One, two, three, four. Make sense? What I'll do now is I'll play the same thing, but I'll actually I'll read the whole first line from the chord note reading sheet. Here it goes. So the ostinato first. Here we go. Line one. One, two, three, four. So I'm now I'm going to move on to the next ostinato. So it's almost the same thing, walking feet, but my left hand's going to play chord notes on the snare. When I do uh, ostinatos, I like to play um, a cross stick technique. All right. So you can play cross stick, or you can just play chord notes regularly. So just the just the walking feet. Now I'm going to add the left hand. I'm going to read line one with my right hand. Two, three, four. Alright, makes sense? Alright, the next ostinato, so pattern number four from the basic ostinato sheet is all our limbs except for our right hand playing chord notes. So that's going to sound like this. All right. So now I'm going to play line one with my right hand. One, two, three, four. Okay. So the next ostinato is playing chord notes with our limbs except for our left hand. Alright, so the ostinato is going to sound like this. And we're going to read with our left hand. Line one sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One. Next one, number six, involves all of our limbs except for our bass drum playing uh, the ostinato. So, um, so it's going to sound like this. This is just just the ostinato. All right. So 
So now I'll read line one from the chord note reading sheet. One, two, three, four. All right, finally what we're going to do is we're going to play chord notes with our right and left hand and bass drum and we're going to read with our left foot. So just the ostinato is going to sound like this. All right, and now I'll add my left foot reading the uh, the line. Here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, so when you're practicing these, what I want you to do is uh, play along with either some music or a metronome, okay? Um, I also want you to make sure that you go through each line on the sheet, um, reading with the limb that happens to be lead reading at that time, okay? Once you've completed that, um, try, as you're reading, improvising which drum on the drum set the hand that's reading is gonna play, okay? And um, finally, once you're you're done that, try playing the ostinato while improvising with the hand that uh, uh, that is free. Okay. For example, let's say I'm doing uh, ostinato number two. Okay, which is this. All right, and I'll improvise with my left hand at the same time. should mention that when I mean improvising, I mean still within the rhythm, the defined rhythms that we've done so far. So, so far we're only doing chord notes. Um, later on we're going to add more complicated rhythms like eighth notes and triplets and, and sixteen notes and so forth. Okay? If you have any questions, feel free to contact me and uh, I'd be happy to answer them. Okay?